everybody. I'm Iris and I'm one of your MJC librarians. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use Noodle Tools Express to create a citation in APA format. We're going to start on the library's website and go up to the Research Help um, tab on our navigation bar and choose Noodle Tools. This is our Noodle Tools page where we have a description of Noodle Tools, we have a lot of help guides on Noodle Tools, and we've got Noodle Tools Express. Now, Noodle Tools Express is great to use when you just want to do a few citations on the run. If you want to learn um, our full Noodle Tools database, which is a research management database, that is great. And it can do a whole lot for you, and you can read the description down here underneath it. But we're just going to stick with Noodle Tools Express today. So here's Noodle Tools Express. No need to log in or anything because it's a, it's a freebie. You need to choose your style. So we're going to do APA style. And I have found an article um, from an online journal on the web. So I am going to choose my citation type. So I've got a journal. Let's choose journal. And then we're going to say create citation. Now, um, this is your, your screen where you can create your citation using this form. I really like the fact that I can look at this APA guide right here and see what information I need to have in my journal, in my journal citation. I can close it. Now, you need to choose where you got your journal. Print means you're actually holding the journal in your hand. It doesn't mean you printed the article off. It means you're holding the journal in your hand. Website means you got it from a website. Database means you got it from a library database. The other two you will probably never use, um, digital file and microfilm. While you're at MJC, you probably will not be using that. So I did not get this article out of a database. I got it from a free website. So then we just start by filling out the form. So when we're on a website, we've got DOI. Well, oh my gosh, what's a DOI? Notice the little information button here. It tells you what a DOI is, what it should look like, and that you always provide a DOI when available. I've got this article that I found um, online. The, the title of the article is here. It's got the author and that information there. And then I've got an abstract and then the article down the middle. Now, I am not going to just use this website to cite my source. I am going to download the PDF because I'll be able to see more of the information I need. For example, I don't really see the page numbering of the article, so I just always recommend people download the PDF when you can. And here we go. Let's make this a little bigger for you. Notice we've got the information we need here. We've got the author. We've got the date. We've got the title. And we've got the retrieval information. Those are the four pieces of information you really need to cite a source in APA format. So let's go back to our Noodle tools. So DOI, uh, we have got, oh, I see it right here. So what I want to do is I want to see if I can, let's copy this DOI, copy link. I'm just going to copy it right in there so I don't have to type it. Okay. Now, URL, it says you use the DOI if you have it. Don't use the URL. So I'm not even going to bother to fill that out. And now we just go down and we look at the fill in the information that's there. So it's asking for a first name. Liana is the first name of the author. So we've got our author information. 
there's just that one author. So we don't need to worry about that. The article title. I'm actually going to take it off of here. Let's see if I can just copy that into this. I did, but look what it's telling me. Capitalize in sentence style only. So it's only the first letter of the first word in the title and any subtitle. So they have the every word capitalized. So we need to go in and, and change that because we just copied and pasted. Okay, so we are done with that. We don't need to worry about a translation. Let's see, page numbers. I am not seeing that on here, but let's look at the article information. I'm still not seeing the page numbers there. So now we do need to go back to that PDF because here I'm seeing it's pages 1 through 29. See how the PDF shows you more of the information. Let's see, the name of the journal is this. Socius, Sociological Research for a Dynamic World. And I copy and paste as much as I can for a dynamic world. Now notice I did do capital letters for each major word. Let's see what this says. Oh, it says capitalize the first letter of all significant words that make up the title of the journal. Okay, so we did the right thing there. Let's go here. Oh, we can see it's a volume number six. And then I didn't see an issue number, but we do have a year. I can see it's 2020. So let's put 2020 in here. And then we don't have to worry about any advanced information. And we're done. So I'm going to click Save. And notice it created the citation for me. It put it in the order it needs to be put in. We've got the author. We've got the date. We've got the title. And we have got the retrieval information, which includes the journal, the volume, an issue number if we had it, the page numbers, and the DOI. And now what I would do is I would copy that citation. I can open my word processor and type it in and just paste it into my word processor and move on. Now you do need to double check and make sure and it's got notes here telling you, you need to make sure you go back and redo the italicized words. These are the italicized words here. You need to make sure that your line wrapping is working like it should, and you need to make sure that you have your um, double spaced and your hanging indent there. But see how easy it is to use Noodle Tools Express to create a citation.